Hello, let me explain you a little bit about flexibility. My ModX Revolution Quick Start team is available on GitHub, as you can see here. Uh, GitHub slash design from within slash flexibility. Um, well, what is it? Uh, the, the concept of it is uh, I want to have a fast, easy way to start my projects from ModX. Uh, for every project, I need a home page, a contact page. Sometimes a gallery, uh, a front-end slider, some, some, uh, just some snippets and chunks. Well, I created uh, a package that installs a whole website without any styling. Just a basic theme, template, uh, boilerplate, whatever you want to call it, to get started. It's based on the HTML boilerplate. Um, and, well, it looks like this. Let me show you. Um, this is what you get after you fill in some settings, a logo, a navigation. It's totally unstyled, so you can do anything with it that you want. Page slider, as you can see, it works. Uh, it's sliding. It doesn't have any, almost has no styling. I added a little bit just to have some text and some description. And as you can see, it's a really nice one. If you click on different slides, it will fade, but if you will just wait, it will slide from right to left. I think that's a nice startup point. For most projects, this will be more than enough. And if you want to change it, you can, of course. And if you scroll down, you have a tagline. Um, if you check the code, it's an H1 tag. Let me show you. Uh, this is an H1 tag, and this is a link. And these can be uh, totally managed from within the ModX manager. So it's really easy. You can even disable them or enable them or have only a tagline and no link, whatever you want. And you can style these any way you want, of course. Then on the home page, we have a, a main content area on the left and a sidebar on the right. And I divided those uh, by 50%. Uh, on the footer, we have the same thing. We have some content, 50%, and we divided the right content in two pieces and you can change these really easy from the manager and let me show you what happens when you make it smaller it will just sc uh, scroll a little bit and it's a fixed width so the the minimum width is let me show you from the container is 987 pixels um, that's the that's the setting it has I'm gonna change it maybe I'm not sure but that's for now the setting Okay, another page is the about page. That's just a general page. Let me show you. Main content, sidebar, footer, and a tagline. You can disable that very easily. We also have a gallery page with some picture gallery. Uh, this is one gallery. If you create more, there will be more pictures right here. And if you click on it, you enter the gallery and you can open any picture. And I already installed the light box. You can change it if you want. I think this is a really nice one. It works very nice. So this is a good project, good setup to start. And the contact page finally is just simply a contact form. Really basic name, email, subject and message. If you want to add anything, it's, it's really easy. But I really like to start my project this way. Okay, uh, let me show you the backend. The backend is this. After you install the package, you get this. As you can see, it will install a page called Site Settings, a thank you page that's for the contact form after you send a uh, contact, home page, an about page, a gallery page, and a contact page. The package will install all this stuff for you, including the content and a lot of the settings. The only thing I changed uh, in the preview is under Site Settings, uh, I went to Template Variables. And here I added a few slider items. These will be empty if you create a fresh install because I don't know what kind of sliders you want, of course. You will need, a, add, need to add at least two sliders to have a slider somewhere, otherwise it won't work. So uh, please add two slides or more, probably. Uh, slides can be added really easily. Just add an item and you can just uh, select a title, a description. Uh, you can select which style you want. There are two styles, a small image and a wide image. And on this tab, you can select an image. So that's really easy. That's, uh, that's fine. Uh, 
after you created them you can simply order them that's really easy as well uh, this is the uh, MIGX uh, plugin really nice way of controlling your template variables okay down here you can select your logo by default it has this logo so it says please select your own logo you can just click on it and upload your own logo that's uh, no problem um, enter your email for the contact form this is the the content for the footer the left side the right side and the bottom right side uh, i suggest you add your address that's here in the bottom right uh, you can change it if you want of course but that's a nice suggestion okay and those are the basic settings uh, the other thing i added is on the components you have gallery and i just added some pictures just one album our work and i added uh, four pictures but this this works and once you add those uh, they will appear in the gallery page as you can see here so that's really functional um, how do you get a page slider on the home page well if you click on a page itself home and you go to template variables you will see here page slider if you want one or not uh, if I select no and I refresh the page the slider will be gone so it's that easy it's really easy you can just if you don't want a slider you can just not use it um, if you want a tagline I now have a tagline with a link but if I don't want a link I just select no link save and refresh and the link text is gone as you can see and it's just a big tagline um, some other other things these are the tagline text of course as you can see and the link where does it go the text of the link and the sidebar content as you can see on the home page I have a sidebar here um, how do I change that well if I just simply don't put anything in there it will automatically disappear and the page will be full width as you can see it's the same for any other page the about page it has a sidebar now it's a bit uh, less wide but you can change that in the CSS of course um, and if I go to about it has almost the same settings just go to templates variables remove the content for the sidebar save and if you refresh your page will be full width as you can see right that's the basic run through of the uh, flexibility startup team for mod x revolution please uh, download it try it and give me some feedback on github thank you very much